Hello, today I'm going to show you how to use Screencastify, which is just a simple Google extension for Chrome. And if you don't already have it installed, what you'll want to do is just Google Screencastify extension. And it is the first one that you see here. So you'll click that link. And you'll see that you'll just want to go ahead and add to Chrome and install it. Um, and then you can sign in with your Google account. Then when you're ready to go ahead and start making your first video, what you'll do is you'll open a new tab. Um, I'm going to go ahead and just go to my Schoology page. And then up here you can see you have the Screencastify shortcut. So what you'll do is you'll just hit that arrow and then you can start a new recording. And there's a couple things you can do. You can record your whole desktop or just the browser tab or just the webcam only depending on what you want to do. It's always a good idea to test your microphone and you can click embed webcam and then if you hit show more options it gives you a countdown which is always nice and then your drawing tools um, which is like your focus mouse highlighter different things like that so then i'm going to go ahead and hit record and you can see the webcam down here um, it lets you choose if you want to do your entire screen or just an application window so i'm going to go ahead and do my whole screen there's my little countdown and you're ready to go. So then from here, it's recording everything on your screen. Over here are your drawing tools. So one thing I like to use a lot is the focus mouse and that just kind of shows where you want them to click or what you want them to focus on. Um, there are some other tools. So you have a pen and you can use this. Say like, okay, I want you to go here to the science flip grid. Um, and then you can erase that when you are finished. Uh, this will get rid of your webcam or bring your webcam back. Um, so those are just some of the different tools that you have. Uh -huh. So that's basically how you use Screencastify. When you're finished, you can hit stop sharing. And now you have your recording uh, ready to go. You can name your recording up here. And you can also open it in the editor, which lets you do a couple more things than you can do here. Um, you can delete it if you're not happy with that. You can get a shareable link and share that with anybody. You can embed this on your blog or website. Um, you could publish it to YouTube, um, share it to your Google Classroom, or download this. And then you can upload the file wherever you like. But this is how you use Screencastify. So I'm going to go ahead and pause that. And that is it.